Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the best day of the week. As you know, Wednesday is the best day of the week because on Wednesdays we hear wisdom from the Word of God brought to us from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, these brief sayings, are short enough that we can keep them with us for a while. Think about where we've been and where we're going through God's Word as a response to His gracious gift of forgiveness free for us in Christ Jesus. We get to stand up and ask God, how then shall we live? And he gives us some guidance. Today's proverb is an interesting one. It'll be an interesting take on laziness, offering us a contrast, not with maybe what we would suspect, diligence, but instead with generosity. Here, Proverbs 21, verses 25 and 26. The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. All day long he craves and craves, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. Let me mention something that was just at least kind of interesting. As you know, oftentimes the Proverbs include a contrast, one line about folly and another about wisdom. And honestly, I found it kind of interesting that here we have a couple of verses together and three quarters of it is given for a description of folly. And then just one brief line at the end is an example of wisdom. And like I said, I think it's just interesting how this proverb talks about laziness how it describes it, also what it contrasts it with. Here, you probably noticed that laziness is equated with selfishness. But this fool's desire doesn't cause him to hustle. This fool's desire causes him to sit. He chooses comfort over and over again, satisfying, he thinks, that craving. Instead of doing the work that would provide something useful for him and potentially even better, something useful for someone else. As you heard me mention at the get-go, we don't have here a contrast between laziness and diligence. But here the contrast ends up being self-serving with outward looking and generosity toward other people. And I think it's important for us to remember that in God's wisdom, his way of guiding us in this world, it includes providing us opportunity to work both so that we can support ourselves, support our family members, but also so that we can look outside of ourselves and look to benefit other people. I remember that famously in the book of Ephesians, the Apostle Paul, he exhorts the thief not only to stop stealing, but more importantly, to get a job so that he can have something to share. And those kind of ideas, they help you and me remember that real satisfaction never comes from grabbing more and more and more and more and more of whatever trivial thing our heart desires at the moment. Real satisfaction has to be found somewhere else. First of all, in a reconciled relationship with God our Father in Jesus. And then walking away from that with joy in our hearts, looking to help someone who is truly in need find supply. Hear it again. The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. All day long, craves, craves. But the righteous gives and gives and gives and does not hold back. We pray. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to this world's standards, but according to your standards. Help me to choose every day the way of wisdom and the way of Jesus. Amen. As always, appreciate you taking some time out of your day to be with me. Look forward to seeing you soon.